Hello everybody, welcome to Forging Ahead with Headlam. How are you doing today? So, all right, so from your city title, you know it's serious business we're on to, right? So, before we get into that, Christmas time again. I can't believe the year almost finished. Like, we just celebrated Christmas, we just celebrated New Year's Day, and now it's back again. Like, I don't even know. How the time is going so fast but Christmas time has always been a special time of year for me somehow this year I'm not really feeling it because I, I would have decorated already and everything but I'm not feeling it this year but I got a lovely poinciana got my poinciana And when I see poinsettias, trust, all right, is it poinsettia or poinsettias? I, as a child, I heard it was poinsettia because I, I remember this poem from primary school and it goes like this. Um, I love to walk with mommy for she sees such lovely things. The poinsettia tree all blazing red like Santa dressed to call. For little girls and boys, just one and all. I love to walk with mommy, for she sees such lovely things. So when I see poinsettias, or if, if you call it poinsettia, I absolutely love them. They're so just majestic and scarlet and red. <laughs> They're just really, really lovely plants, beautiful plants, right? So every time I see poinsettias, I know it's, Christmas time anyway so we're gonna be talking about bond IPOs today what is a bond IPO but before I get into that you can check out my video on investing money and just to remind yourself of why we have to invest or why we should invest remember you know when you invest your money your money works for you even when you're not doing anything so it's basically building wealth for you so you know that the regular savings account makes no sense it absolutely doesn't make any sense you put your money there because you earn nothing nothing one time yes you could earn some money on your savings account but over the years i mean inflation has just it away all your 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 earning potential from your your money and basically leave you with nothing so it's better to invest than to save in a regular saving account so when you put your money in investment accounts you know you have that compounding compounding um, power then because you get interest on your money and you can now see where your money is working for you we're gonna get into it and don't worry because I have I have a special interview that I did just to enlighten you and to also to, to, to you know put in your mind that this is something that you can do so if you have started your business if you have um, thought about your side hustles and you have it planned out and you know potentially you're going to to make some money with your side hustles or your businesses or you know it's Christmas time some people might be getting extra income bonuses uh, if you're in government you might be getting that little extra that the government promised so don't spend it all put it in an interest bearing account which could be in the form of bonds which could be in a form of investment um, IPOs um, which could be in the form of bond IPOs as we're gonna talk about soon so listen you get the little extra money make it work for you at least in a few years you'll see where your efforts um, generate income for you that you did not think about I should let you know that I am NOT a financial advisor I am also a student trying to find out as much as I can about investments and when I find it out I relay the information to you because 
I know that a lot of us grew up, we didn't know anything about investments. We don't know, we just know that we get money, probably put now like a savings account and you know, we don't really know the, the power that investment has on our money and our earning potential. Additionally, a lot of us, our parents did not teach us about investing. Our parents probably knew about saving in regular saving accounts. And one time, yes, you could save in it, but no, it really makes no sense. So we have to teach ourselves and we have to teach our children when we learn, because this is how the rich get rich. This is how they maintain their wealth. And this is how they beat inflation. So we're gonna copy, we're gonna scopy <laughs> what they do to keep their wealth and to be rich. And we want to build generational wealth, right? I'm not gonna tell you that there is no risk associated with investing your money. Yes, there are risks. However, if you believe that you want to see your money grow, Speak with a financial advisor who will be better able to tell you about the risks associated with investing your money, um, possibly in an IPO, which is an initial public offering, or an APO, which is an additional public offering, or investing in bonds. And there are others. But speak with a financial advisor who will be better able to assist you with all that you need to know about investing and growing your money we know about ipos which i said in a previous video is an initial public offering wherein a company wants to generate funds that they do not have so basically they borrow your money to get the goal that they to, to achieve the goal that they have right so for example a company wants to generate a million dollars right and they don't have it right now so they put out this initial public offering to the public and you lend them your money at an inch and you get interest on your money that's how the ipos work now if a company has an additional public offering it means that they would have already put out an ipo people had already bought into it but they have something extra that they want to achieve Hence, the additional IPO comes out and you invest into that as well. And they get the money that they need to do what they need to do with their company. And you get your interest. And at the end of it, you have your, your principal, basically. Right? So, it is to be noted here that when a company um, offers their company as an IPO, they are now considered as a public company. But before they list as an IPO, they were considered as private. Additionally, um, an IPO, you can sell your shares on the um, stock exchange market. So that's the difference between the IPO and the bond. You can, the, the company is now on the stock exchange market. A bond basically is when a company it can be a company a corporation or government um borrows your money too at and you get and they also give you interest on that money maybury investments had put out an ad advertising their bond ipo and i was driving i heard it and i was like what is that i need to know what that is because it sounds interesting i mean who doesn't want to get extra money um so i did a little bit a bit of digging into the company and so on and i found out that mayberry has been around for from 1985 and they're legitimate like top notch right um i should add at this point that i am not being paid by mayberry i am getting no financial um gain from doing this video I just heard something and thought it would be interesting to share it with you because I want wealth and I want you to get wealth too. So as I get wealth in knowledge, um, I want your wealth in knowledge to increase as well. So um, I decided to do some digging, some investigation, and I found somebody who explained it to me 
and somebody who is willing to explain it to you individually if you call as well. So check out my interview with Mr. Hyman from Mayberry. All right, so hi viewers. I'm here with Philip Hyman from Mayberry Investments. And I have some questions because you, I, I don't know if you know about the bond IPO that Mayberry has, but I was curious, so I called, tried to find out some information. So I found out information and I would like to share it with you. So Mr. Hyman, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, what is Mayberry's bond IPO all about? Because I've been hearing it in the media and I was like, what is this? Well, Mayberry bond IPO, as you can suggest, you know, it's a bond. It's basically a loan that we're taking from the public to basically um, finance or basically um, every day running of the company, giving margin, which is loan, right? Um, yeah, that's it. But we have like four different tranches, four different tranches, and the interest rate varies. Okay. So, so, all right, so I, I, I know about IPOs, but when you put the two of them together, how is it different from an IPO? Because bonds I know from government, right, right. then government money, mm -hmm. and then I hear about IPO. So how, how does it work? So it's a combination. So as you suggest, the bond is lending money, but it, the IPO now is something that is listed on the stock market. So for whatever reason you can choose to exit, you can sell it on the stock market. It's tradable on the stock market. Okay, okay. All right, so um, what what are the, 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 the you, you said there were there four tranches? Four tranches. So how, how, is, how does it work? Okay, so we have um, 13 months, which is 9.25%, 18 months at 10%, 24 months, 11%, and 36 months and 12%, and all this is per annum. Per annum. Yes. So um, it's... So you get a little um, extra right. for the holiday. I right. mean, don't spend it all at once. I mean, buy some investment. Invest your money because the return is great. And it's awesome. Yes. So I don't know if you have anything else you'd like to, 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 to tell uh, my viewers in terms of what this bond IPO could possibly um, do for them. Oh, um, definitely to make money on your money. The... Um, the basic amount is twenty thousand, but you know, we basically encourage you to up it, up it, and it's it's basically easy to open an account with us. I mean, well, you have my my name, this one. So I can pass it on to oh, my to my viewers. Okay, so I'll put it in the description. Yes, you can. All right. So, I mean, I did a video previously about investments. You can always check that out, but. Right now we're talking about Mayberry's IPO, bond IPO. Bond IPO. So don't spend your money, come to Mayberry, invest your, your uh, money, and you have other products too, right? Always. Okay, so they can come and check that out. Definitely. All right, so I mean, what should they take and what do they need to open uh, other accounts? Well, basically to open an account with us, normally it's a million dollars, but for this bond slash IPO, I mean, we basically lower the bar it's to the ground basically you would need if you're employed you would need uh, three pay slips the last three months pay slip you need a utility bill so that can be a line which you sell credit card bill you need a basically a copy of your bank statement to show that hey the money is coming from here or from here um an id and uh, tiering so the id is a uh, driver's license passport that's it. Okay, so for self-employed people, what do they need? Six months bank statement. Bank statement. All right, so sounds good. I mean, you have something for everybody. Everybody. But you just heard, I heard something very significant, you know. You said it's usually a million dollars to open an account at Mayberry. And this will give you an opportunity to open an account without spend, having to invest a million dollars. All right, so thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hyman, You're most for your time. Mr. Hyman spoke about, he told us all the percentages um, that we will get for the, the different years. So we're going to work it out um, to see what 
we would be getting at the end of, of the, the, the different tranches, right? So because me, they got a big school. Let me see if I can work it out. Um, so we can know what we can, we'll get at the end of our, our bond IPO, right? Never mind the drawing, it can't, I can't rub it out. The girls were doing their work of art and it's a permanent marker. They didn't know that it wasn't the, 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 um, the one that you can erase. Anyway, so let's work it out, right? So he said 13 months. Thirteen months, right? And he said that's at nine point two percent. So thirteen months at nine point two percent per annum. And the next one was eighteen months. Eighteen months at ten percent. All right. Third one was. 24 months at 11 percent all right so the fourth one was 36 months at 12 percent per annum oh as mr hyman said the um least amount you can invest is twenty thousand dollars which is pretty low um considering that you have to have a million dollars to open an account at mayberry like uh, million dollar <laughs> But anyway, a lot of people have a million dollars. They can just invest and it's no problem to them. But for us who don't have it, this is a great start. Since we've got big school, make we work them out, right? And we're going to do it at $20,000. At 9.2% for the 13 months, here's how you work it out, right? So for the 18 months at 10% per annum, this is how you work it out. Eleven percent for it 24 months this is how you work it out basically the same way but this is the answer there you go 2200 the longest one which is 36 months at 12 percent same way you work it out but here's the answer for 13 months you will receive one thousand eight hundred and forty dollars if you invest twenty thousand dollars for 18 months you'll get two thousand dollars if you is if you invest twenty thousand dollars for 24 months at 11 percent you will receive two thousand two hundred dollars at 36 months at 12 percent interest you will receive two thousand four hundred dollars remember i told you, you know the banks don't give you interest at all so if you're getting these on your money that's a lot compared to if you leave your uh, money in a regular savings account or even a fixed deposit account so um, i know that some of you might not be investing this minimum you might be investing more but if you're going to invest more at least you have the formula to calculate what you'll be receiving at the end of your um your investment period right so the number for mr hyman will be in the description below you can always call and find out for yourself and tell him what you have to invest and he will give you the, the um the amount that you will receive and additionally there are other things that you can invest in at mayberry there are other institutions you know but i'm just talking about this one because i 
just talking about this one for now, right? So, it was a pleasure getting the information for you because as I grow, I want you to grow. And remember, you know, we're entrepreneurs, me and you together. Yeah, we're entrepreneurs. We're, 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 some people say we're a hustler, we're entrepreneur, whatever you want to call it. We're in the business of making money. We're in, in the business of building wealth, building generational wealth, building ourselves, you know, financially and getting out of some bad situations. And these are the things that are going to help us out in the future. So contact me, Barry, or other financial institutions that you think, um, if you don't think you want to invest in this one, there are always other opportunities for you. So never forget, you know, with God, all things are possible and he will help you in everything that you do. So see you next time. Bye.